Gerald and Carolyn. Hello. Uh, we all got together today. We called Mother and Dad this morning and asked them if they'd like to come down and hear the tape you sent us and eat dinner with us. And uh, they accepted. So here we all are sitting down in Bill's room with his permission and uh, making the tape, which we'll call... Uh, 15 more minutes, some of our nothing, Bill says. 22 minutes of some of our nothing. So, uh, Margo's sitting right next to me here, and I'll let her say hello to you. Uh, Hi! Did you lose your tongue? Gee, this is the first time in two weeks that you haven't talked. Yeah. <laughs> they can't hear that. Bill is real nice letting us calm down and talk in his tape. I agree. <laughs> and Renee has a little puppy. And this one time she... She lost it and he was under the cover, thinking like he was dead. And then she, she, we looked all over, all over um, the house and outside the house, and we didn't find him. And they was under the cover. He was so quiet. That was when he was a baby, but now he's a baby. No, he's a big dog. He's almost uh, five Two pounds. Ounces. Two ounces. <laughs> Two ounces. Yeah. And his name is... Um, Rastus. Rastus, because he's coal black, and how long is he? I'll bet he's no more than six inches long. Looks like a chocolate drop, semi-sweet. Yeah. <laughs> he's cute and smart. Hello, Gerald and Carolyn. Uh, Jeanette called about 10 o'clock and wanted us to come. I didn't have any of my work done. We'd been down at the store and we'd done our shopping, our grocery shopping. And uh, washed the dishes, of course, made the bed before we went. And I said, well, I'd hurry and get my work done then, and we would come down. And uh, Grandpa said, yes. He said, I'm going outside a few minutes to hold a few weeds. And then he said, I'll come in and help you. But uh, those weeds took longer than, uh, than I had planned on, I guess, because he didn't show up. <laughs> I did all the housework, and finally he came in. Then, did your um, painting and your fall cleaning and all that? Did painting and the fall cleaning and all that sort of thing. And uh, then uh, this puppy that they were telling you about, this small puppy, uh, Renee went fishing with us the other day, and she had the puppy with her. Well, he'd played around practically all day, and it was toward evening. Renee didn't want to stop fishing, so Grandpa took him up to the car, started to take him up to the car, and he got tired carrying him. He was so large. So he laid him, put him down on the ground, and the little fellow just slumped down right where he left him. So he had to pick him up and carry him up uh, the rest of the way to the car. Now I'm going to let uh, uh, Anne talk to you. Bill took us over to our buddies to get the tape for the recording, and then we came. And then Bill hit, um, went over a bow, and, and it, it was noise. You're not supposed to tell me. We're having trouble with our muffler. We went swimming, and, and I swimmed underwater, and then after we, then Daddy said, <laughs> did you dive then? Did you dive off? Yeah. You did. And I went down the slippery slide. Head first? No. Oh. And then we got out and then I asked Dave when I got, um, I went out, out and asked him <laughs> if we, if we would get us something. He said, we will see. And then he did. He got us a hamburger and some shrimp fries and divided fit fries and two bubble guns, both from me and Margo. 
Charging. We'll charge him up here in just a minute. Well, I went fishing the other day and I caught two fish. And uh, Bob went with me and he caught one and he felt pretty bad that I beat him. And, oh, Uncle Gerald, I was wondering if you have uh, hay fever because I heard you say something about it. And, or is it just Roger fever? And, <laughs> Oh, about your roof. I'll I'll come down and fix your roof for you if you'll uh, pay for the jet ride. Um, that's then so I won't because I don't have much money to pay for it. What happened to twelve dollars you got today? Oh well, uh, I don't know where that is. I must have lost it somewhere. <laughs> oh, and, uh, it's the last of the big spenders. I don't no. Uh, you said something about how I was since you were here last, and it made me improve. I didn't think I could get any more perfect than I was, but I found out that I could. And so I guess you're awful perfect, too, from what I found out last time you were here. Well, what Grandpa speak. Uh, hello, Gerald Carolyn. Uh, I suppose you expect me to talk about fishing because that's the only thing I ever do. <laughs> so uh, on the opening day, uh, Mother and I and Oscar and Alice went, went over on the old creek and uh, Mabel couldn't go along because her mother's pretty bad and she had to stay with her. So we went over there and uh, in the morning, and we got out of the car, and the wind was blowing from the north, cold and clearly affliction. And we, uh, but we did catch some fish. I think, I think I caught four, and, and Oscar caught six. Oscar caught six, and they had me right in the center of them, so I didn't have much don't, chance. Don't, I only caught don't two. Don't into my conversation. <laughs> 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 so. So now you got me off my track. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it was darn cold. We finally ate our dinner lunch in the car and came home. And then, then a week later, we, we went over again, the same, same place, and uh, took Renee with us. And Renee and Mother fished with one pole. Renee didn't have a li license, she didn't have a pole. So they had to fish with one pole. And uh, they caught five fish between them, and I caught four. But I caught four great big suckers. And uh, I got them out of the creek and threw them back there. And we were uh, just getting them out of the, out of the stream there. Murderer. And uh, <laughs> uh, but Renee, she, she caught one big sucker too, so she couldn't holler very much. And uh, it was a nice day that day. sound like celebrities and that uh, much better than some of the CBS and NBC 
jazz that we listen to on TV. You can and the, see he doesn't want to talk about the fishing trip. I didn't know that right. sitting around. <laughs> All about the fishing trip. Last weekend, uh, our fishing opened Saturday morning. We traveled to Soda Springs and uh, stayed over the weekend with some of our friends, the manager of the First National Bank and his wife. And then Saturday morning, we went fishing on... This is fine. Uh, after we got to Willow Creek, uh, Gerald, we uh, the fellows got out, and uh, Rex had his boy, who was 10 years old, and Bill. And Roger didn't go with us because Roger had a better place to fish, so he said. Chain Creek? And I guess you'll agree with that. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, the facts and figures of the fish are really tell the truth about where the fishing was the best. <laughs> but the fellows went out, and uh, our boys, and uh, used lures, and ended up with uh, 18 fish, I believe it was, that uh, would run over two pounds. They were all Eastern Brook trout. And uh, Rex and I caught 10 each, uh, rainbow and cutthroat species. So we really had more fish than what we should have had. So we feel the next time we'll leave the boys at home and go and really enjoy fly fishing. What did you catch? What did we catch anything? <laughs> <laughs> Jan, <coughs> Jan's getting anxious to take an angle worm out and show us up. So we're going to we're going to take Jan and uh, mother and dad Reed and go up uh, to their favorite place and. See if all these stories that they've been telling me about fishing are really true. <laughs> Last, uh, yesterday, um, four of us, uh, Jack Holder of the Holder Machine Works and the banker and a potato producer and myself, who are all directors of this golf course that we are constructing here in Rigby, uh, boarded uh, Jack's Beechcraft plane and flew to uh, uh, Bozeman, Montana, 140 miles airline miles from here, over 11,000 range of uh, sawtooths, and we we planned on getting back by 1:30 yesterday so that we could do our day's work, our Friday day's work, uh, before the weekend started, and when we got over there, we found our purpose of going over in the first place was to look at the <coughs> clubhouse facilities. We had heard that it was uh, very nice, and it was just exactly what we needed out on our golf course. After we arrived, we found out that it was a little expensive for our pocketbook. The clubhouse itself and the dining hall uh, cost over $100,000. We were so impressed, however, with the golf course that we decided to play nine holes. And that was so interesting, we ended up by playing 18. And uh, so consequently, it was getting a little bit late, and the clouds were coming up, and it was beginning to uh, lightning and rain. And so we hurried, we taxied back to our, our airport, and boarded our plane, and headed for Rexburg and Rigby. And in route over the sawtooth again, over by Hebgen Lake, the uh, rain was coming down so hard and the clouds were so dense that we circled around them and landed at uh, Yellowstone, West Yellowstone. My uh, daughter is uh, living in West Yellowstone, and so we called her and uh, went over to their apartment and had a bottle of beer apiece. And then came back to the airport and flew home through one of the roughest winds I've ever traveled in the air through. Um, and we arrived, what was it, Jan, about 7 o'clock mm -hmm. last night. But we had a real good time, except that we lost one day's work, all of us. It wasn't far off of 1.30. No, <laughs> 1.30 to 7 o'clock. <laughs> I'm wondering if uh, <clears throat> you were all doing a day's work. You said you wanted to get back by 1.30 so you could do your normal Friday's work. 
And is that all it takes to do a day's work? No, but we could work double shift, <laughs> double time. <laughs> well, I guess they weren't going to let me talk after the fishing trip, and uh, but I guess I'll get to talk anyway. Since it's your tape recorder. Yeah, since it's my tape recorder, and since they're not going to erase everything if they. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, in answer to your question on how I'm using my tape recorder, it's just plain for enjoyment usually. I've used it for some school works in German and uh, but usually I've been recording music uh, that I use to go to sleep at nights with. Yeah, something like Steppenwolf. <laughs> <laughs> no, only about 120 cc's. <laughs> Dad is usually most of the time yelling at me because when the walls of the house start to shake he doesn't seem to enjoy it too much. I think it's pretty neat, though. <laughs> uh, the thing that really puts me to sleep is Roger R Williams, and uh, the reason is is because of his first name. And uh, I never have liked him myself. <laughs> and uh, well, Bill, I did. <laughs> Bill likes uh, in golfing. He likes Billy Casper, and I can't understand why. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> I think these boys are going to have a fight pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be unreported. Yeah. I was wondering what kind of a recorder you had, and also if you had a 1 and 7 8 speed on it. Because even though when you do talk on it, you forget what you were going to say in the first place, and it ends up being about half the time you planned on it. Maybe we could get a little m more time to talk together <laughs> if you did have the one and seven eight speed. <laughs> so I was just wondering whether you had that so that we could maybe use it on the next tape. Uh, oh. We're planning on you sending us one back in answer to this. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked some questions. Hurry. <laughs> How about that vacation, your week's vacation? We need to know what you did and how much fun you had. Yeah, and how interesting it was. It sounded like a pretty good vacation when you were describing the plans. Well, Carolyn, may, perhaps you can talk Gerald into bringing you down this summer for, well, possibly at least a week's vacation. You could, you're welcome here, and we'd love to have you. I imagine Mother and Dad would like to see you, too. I've decided... I've decided to bid five dollars under whatever Roger bids for the roof. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well. They compete uh, in business all the time. Always. Yeah. Great businessmen. Well, I'll, I know. I'll pay for ten dollars of the jet trip, I've decided. Uh, I'll pay for fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> so to the America. Paul sent us a lovely picture of his bride to be, and we all enjoyed seeing her, and we are looking forward to meeting her. We think she's very pretty, and and uh, Paul has, has certainly She has a nice figure her. too. Yes, yeah. we heard read about her measurements. <laughs> I was going to ask uh, ask Paul for me if I can trade him a while with my girl, <laughs> one of my girlfriends. Who's your girlfriend, Roger? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You forgot. Yeah. Too many to remember. <laughs> I never heard of a 13-year-old girl with that kind of measurements. Hardly. Uh, we were wondering how the maple sugar business is coming out. You were telling us about how you were going to make maple sugar in the last bake. And, <laughs> and how's the squirrel? The squirrels, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do my job. Margo has something she wants to say, I guess. Um, Marsh has a bobcat, and this one day when we came down from Emmett, we stopped there for a minute to see her, and we, and we... It's as big as a dog, isn't it? They chased a rabbit, didn't they? And this. And she was over to this other house with this girl and this boy. And this boy was had the bobcat in her hand, in his in his hand, hand. And he and he um he banged it over and then he let it go in the house. And then and then this girl came out and asked Marcia, who gave this stuff 
rabbit to the bobcat and Marcia said she did and the bobcat to the rabbit all up and then she had to throw it away and we what the bobcat? <laughs> Try this, see how well it works. So far, there's only three of us here. I have Father, Michelle, and Paul. Hillegard's out walking freckles. Marsh is sound asleep, and Sinai's off at school. So we'll see how well this works. I thought it was such a good idea you had, Jeanette, of, uh, of asking to have that, that old 1969 tape uh, with Mother and Dad and everybody on it. But I thought, well, we'll make you a real keepsake. We'll... Uh, We'll go into the future to add some 1982 stuff to it. So, what do you have to? What do you think about it, Michelle? I think it's neat. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. There's not too much happening here. Uh, boring. Boring, right, kid? <laughs> uh, let's see. This is Tuesday night. Uh, so I's off at school, as I said. My school nights are Monday nights, and then I have a study group on Thursday night. And Mark, Michelle and I take care of Marcia normally on Tuesday night. Wednesday night is almost a free night, and then we have to wait until Friday. And then some Saturdays is also school, so that kind of messes up the weekend. <laughs> but uh, things are, some of the odd jobs are getting done, most of them aren't. The garden is half started. The other half that isn't started is still the winter garden. So it doesn't know any better. And uh, the lawn looks like I could use a goat. <laughs> the lawn? Oh, yeah, because it's could so long. It. Yes. <laughs> Slow, but sure. And we came down when? Monday? No, Sunday. 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 We came down Easter to uh, put another monkey wrench in the flywheel and uh, slow them down a little more. Then we're coming back again um, on my birthday, and the next day we're going to make a great big pot of uh, chiapino and celebrate all our birthdays. What's chiapino? It's a fish, fish stew. You know, when they make oh, it. you yuck! I can tell eat. by the face you're making that you, you love, love it. it. No, yeah. I don't even know what it is. You've eaten it. I have? We made it last year for our, our birthdays. Yeah. We made it last year it on the has, birthday, and uh, we went to our candy, and you had it there. Uh, I think it has chunks of bass in it, and uh, uh, crab legs, and clams, yuck. and shrimp, oh, yuck. and all those goodies. So, I think to... Uh, since they're so good, you can have them. Well, since, it, since you liked it so well, I think we fried you a piece of salmon last year. Yeah. We'll probably end up doing the same this year. No, oh, okay. See, not so bad, huh? No, because <laughs> I like salmon. That's right. We're yeah. selling, celebrating Sanai's birthday. Marsha's birthday. Marsha's birthday. And Freckles' birthday. My birthday and Freckles' birthday, right. Well, it's going to be a big operation. Mm -hmm. Especially for freckles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he you get all those fish bones, huh? He's getting big. <laughs> well, Gould says he's an elephant. Looks like in the picture. He's just mm. a short one, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he took Hildegard. They've been gone about 20 minutes now. That long already? Yeah. Yeah. 
I wish my uh, tape recorder was silent when it operated like yours. Mm. I always hear that little motor go. Mm -hmm. Very noisy. Huh. It's probably the cooling fan. I oh. That's what I don't like about this one is that the cooling fan is directly related to the speed. and You run it for a long time at a slow speed and it heats up. Oh. So I was always going to put in a real fan. And mm -hmm. Never did it. <laughs> Grandpa cooked a good recipe for dinner tonight. Oh, yeah. Delicious. He made chicken with um, some other stuff in it. Yeah, some kind of Chinese chicken. Yeah, it was good. Came out pretty good. It was so good, Michelle didn't even get the second helping on the chicken she wanted. <laughs> Nothing but vegetables left. Well, mostly mushrooms. Right. And I don't like that. That was Japanese forest mushrooms, too. Oh, yuck. The special kind. You didn't even tell them about the Easter dinner. The, uh, of course, it had a rain on Easter, which is unusual for us. It never rains in California. It does. But not often. <laughs> not when the tourists come. And uh, so we had planned on a uh, prime rib in the barbecue. And so I was going to try a ham recipe she found in the newspaper. And so I doesn't like using recipes because she just likes to look at the pretty pictures and then make her her dinner look like the pretty picture. She doesn't like to follow the instructions. This time she followed the instructions and they ate more ham than they did prime rib, which was unusual. And it oh, was uh, good. Good, right. I didn't have any of Daddy's meat. Yeah. It was like ham. The prime rib was good, too. Yeah, that was the other problem. It was good, but it wasn't good enough. But the ham was cooked in champagne, and it was really something. And what else we have? What, what, speak up. Does um, does Aunt Jeanette and Uncle Go know about Inga and Jerry and Peter and Jerry? They do now. Uh, well, yeah. Let's see. Did they? I think, I think you mentioned something to them when you were. I, I guess they've never met them. No. Mm. But I'm sure they know. That's uh, Hildegard's son and daughter and grandsons. Well, anyways, they came over for Easter, too. Mm -hmm. And we had an egg hunt. And several egg several egg hunts, yeah. yes. I, when, we went, when <laughs> we went outside, because it stopped raining, which is a little bit wet around, um, I hid the eggs. And um, no, not many people could find them. Inga, um, my grandma's... Just keep talking. But I, just, I want you to... Face the microphone and... That's our girl. And Inga, she found most of the eggs. And whenever she found one, she, she would scream, I found one! I found one! And the whole yard started screaming, I found one! I found uh, one! And then some people said, I found none! I found none! <laughs> some of us didn't. <laughs> well, we had, uh, we had fun. Did they play that silly pinochle game? That, oh, that's, where, I, that's yeah. where I brought it from. Yeah, we had yeah. a... We yeah. had a big five-card pinochle game after dinner. That's the f first time all six of us, have, or seven, seven, excuse me, Michelle. Michelle gets in on this, too. We had a seven-person seven game, and that was pretty wild. Hmm. Paul won one, and Jerry won one. The other Jerry. Yeah. Young Jerry. Oh, you left the door open, the cat's out, and the dog will be home soon. Yeah. I left it open? Oh. You uh -huh. will... Well, Fred's hungry. Fred's hungry. Fred's gonna be eaten if you're not careful. It's okay, leave it on. It's okay. Okay. Start talking, honey. So nice here now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hey, that's a good start. <laughs> That, that usually gets her attention right away. You don't, have, don't have to look at it. She's sitting here on the floor staring at the microphone like it's a camera or something. I am so embarrassed. You should be. Okay, just think I'm not on the microphone. Right, don't just look at it. Just think I'm on the telephone. Right. Okay. Oh my God, we won't be out here for hours. Oh. You want Marsha's little play telephone? You can pretend talking to it. <laughs> I just came back from school, and I've been working hard. What else is new? 
Oh, well. Hello, Michael. Hello. Hello. I'm just having beer. <laughs> Relaxing. And she's complaining because somebody got a higher grade. Oh, yeah, yeah. Than she did. Oh, I'm not complaining. Oh. I'm very conceited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking accounting class and I like it. I'm working, doing accounting and everything, and being mother. What else is new? <laughs> well... I don't know, I think. Oh, I cut my hair. Yeah, several times. Um, getting sloppy. Lazy? lazy. No, not lazy, old. really. Not lazy, but uh, getting sloppy. <laughs> getting old. <laughs> <laughs> I told him about the birthday party, what we're going to do today. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Well, we get to vacation. I get to one week vacation this summer. And we haven't figured out what we're going to do this summer, but... Uh, maybe next year I go back home again, or for last. <laughs> um, Don't just sit there and go, hum, hum, hum. It, it's, it's hard to talk myself, even though I like to talk. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're going to do? Well. That's not taking up much tape. <laughs> Take up a lot of tape, but not much sound on it. Well, we should have a tape like, you know, not knowing, we just talk well, and get into tape, yeah, but then so it might be so... Start using all those good American words you've learned at work. Oh, it's okay, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. and Michelle would revive her little... <laughs> dollar, dollar a word box. Dollar a word box. Oh, well, we should uh, do when we played at the Pinnacle. Oh, well, we make a fortune off of Jerry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we should put the tape on when we play Pinnacle. We've been playing Pinnacle. It's fun. Um, so what do you have planned for Marsha's birthday? Oh, nothing really. Well, she's too young, so I think I can get away this year. <laughs> From next year, I have to go. You, you'll eat the ch Chio Pino for her, huh? Oh, yeah, she will eat. She likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <coughs> if you can't think of anything, just reach over and push the stop button until you think of something, and we'll start it again. Oh, okay. Where is it? Right in the middle of all the little red light. She's back. I'm back. Um, I can't think of anything. I don't have any... I don't have my life anymore. <laughs> all I do is work and clean house, so maybe... I'll talk about Marsha and Michelle, and old Paul. Paul is getting old. He's losing more hair. <laughs> I notice every time I cut his hair, I cut his hair because he doesn't want to go barber shop. Um, Marsha is year old. On the twentieth, which is only three, no, five days away, no, seven days away. Oh, one week. One week away. But she's been good. When you consider what birthday I'm uh, celebrating this next time, I don't see how anybody else can complain about being old. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in your mind. I just signed my first Medicare form yesterday. Oh, you did? That made me feel old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Real old. <laughs> Oh, well, Marsha makes me feel young because she's a baby, you know, then I think about I'm having 11-year-old girl, then I feel I'm old. Oh, Michelle is growing, and uh, I think she's getting even prettier. Yeah? And nicer. Mm -hmm. She's very sweet, though. Um, she's still a <coughs> baby. She doesn't uh, 
after I got a sister, all she does is tease her. <laughs> and uh, little Masha is uh, always good since she was born. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she doesn't talk much, but it seems to be she says freckle. Every time I say freckle, she look around for freckle. And oh, then, yeah. Yeah, and then she goes, freckle, freckle. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we went over to the babysitters today, uh -huh. I, uh, Paul and I walked back to the back room where the, the kids were. So she saw me. She just came running over with a big smile on her face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm speaking uh, Japanese to Marsha, so maybe, you know, I made a mistake with Michelle. I should speak Japanese to her, but uh, I guess I need to learn English, and uh, I was young, I didn't know. So now I'm teaching Japanese. The problem is the babysitter is uh, Spanish speaking, so she gets all mixed up with Japanese, English, and Spanish. But sometimes he would have got to use German. <laughs> so she's going to learn a poor language. <laughs> um, well, well, we got to get together and then you know, I have to show Masha and I have to see Crystal, little Crystal. Um, don't know when we get together. No idea. Uh, and this year, it's, uh, we don't have time. Next year, where we're thinking, I might go back home or, or and buy house because... Uh, Something a little bigger. Bigger and uh, for the shows. Different school, school district. Yeah, this is getting really bad. Uh, the school is getting bad, so we're thinking about uh, you know moving uh, far away. I don't think I told you, but in one of the real recent letters, Jeanette gave a hint that they might be seeing us all before long. Oh. Hmm. Maybe they're planning to come down, we hope. I hope so. Be interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to go to Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Good and Aunt Jeanette can babysit, and I'll go to Las Vegas. <laughs> hey, can I, any weekend you guys want to go to Las Vegas, why just drive up and drop the kids off <laughs> cabin and keep going. Yeah, did you hear honey? Yeah, mm -hmm. keep going. I my, old, uh, my, my old man doesn't want to go any place. <laughs> As far as, you know, going out, I think the uh, last time we went out was when, I can't even remember. He was still pregnant. He's been so busy with the school, school and uh, that uh, garden he's been doing. Trying. Trying. Do. And uh, probably for cost, uh, it's much cheaper to buy <laughs> vegetables. Mm -hmm. Probably. <laughs> for the now. times he spent. <laughs> and Michelle's softball. Oh yeah, Michelle is uh, joining softball. She's been uh, taking piano lesson, and she hasn't practiced much, but she hasn't quit yet. So <laughs> maybe another ten years, she might be pretty good, hopefully. <laughs> and she's uh, gonna join softball again, and the Paul is gonna be involved more than Michelle. And it is fun. I last year <clears throat> I was home, so I could go see that the uh, games, and it's fun. But this year I don't know how much I can uh, be around. Um, gee, I can't believe I've been talking to microphone. Talking to a microphone, you're talking to Jeanette and Uncle Gold. I know, but then it's just to... Should I put a picture next to it or something to make it look more realistic? <laughs> where, is, where is the camera? Am I a movie star or something? Yeah. <laughs> Should I sing a song or dance or something? In your nightgown. That would look cute. <laughs> well, I just went to bed room and changed. Nightgown with a bottle of beer in your hand and a cigarette in the other hand. Oh, well... Good yeah. family album stuff. Oh. Right. I don't know why. Every time I go to school and come home, I have to eat or drink something. I can't go sleep. So... Maybe that's why I'm gaining weight. Too, too bad the uh, 
cameras locked up in the bedroom. I'd take a picture oh, my goodness. tonight to send one. Oh, with my glasses. <laughs> my, I look so stupid with my new glasses. Um, I made a mistake, you know, buying this one, but uh, I can't afford a new, uh, another one so I've been wearing, but I don't wear outside, I wear contact lens. Uh, well... Sound like you hit the end of your uh, speech again. Yeah. Well, well, I, I think I'll tell you what you should do, honey. You're getting near the end of the tape on this one side. Okay. And if you really don't have anything else to say, maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to say goodbye <laughs> to you when we run out of the tape and it just keeps on going and <laughs> never hear the end of it. Well, I, I didn't... I was so uh, shy first time I think you you know you wanted me to do it, but I'm not that really. So. I still have the tape that you mm -hmm. gave a couple of hees <laughs> on. I can't believe I can't believe I sound I sounded that way. No, even now I don't want to hear I mean hear this tape because I'll be so embarrassed. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this. I'm not gonna wipe this out. I'll, uh, after I put it on the cartridge, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll never, keep this. I'll never it hear this one. Up. No way. <laughs> 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 oh, well, I guess I'll say good night. Too bad Marcia didn't get up so she could say yeah. something. Yeah, well, the next time. Mm -hmm. Oh, she. She would probably eat that tape <laughs> before she talked. She'd probably want to talk. jump on top and go around <laughs> and around and around and around. Uh-huh. Well, I'll say goodbye again. Uh-huh, me too. And me too. And Hildegard and Freckles have already gone to bed, so... And mm -hmm. Michelle. They all, and Michelle. They all crashed about the same time. Now it's... Uh, ten minutes before eleven. Well... But there's still no guarantee I'll make it for the dirty movie. Oh, right. dirty movie today? Yeah, dirty movie night. Yeah, it doesn't start oh, till almost yeah. one o'clock. I yeah. was thinking yesterday was Tuesday, and the uh, oh. father said a good night in o'clock, and I couldn't <laughs> figure out. Usually he just you know stay up even though he's so tired. Oh, tonight. Well. Well. Then they talk about how, you know, disappointed every week they watch yeah. that movie. Alaska and then they say, how, yeah, how disappointed they are. Then they keep watching it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think its tape is almost the yeah, end of it. Yeah. I, I say good night. I uh, hope to see you soon. Night-night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, Jeanette and Gould. Well, I have a little story to tell. Hildegard was supposed to be on that tape that we made with Paul and Sinai, but uh, uh, his is a tape deck uh, with no playback, and I, we didn't know what we had on the tape till I got up here, and I discovered that I had punched the wrong button and omitted about 10 minutes. So, in order to make the tape complete with everybody on it, uh, we'll let Hildegard put in her two cents worth now. Okay, la 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 yiddy, here's your money coming. How, was, how is everybody? Don't ask questions, they can't answer questions. This is okay. <laughs> I hope everybody is well. So, I, I agree with uh, Zanai. It is a little bit difficult to talk to a <clears throat> um, microphone. But I think we're getting used to. So, today is Sunday and we have a beautiful weather. I would like to sit outside, but it was a little bit too breezy, so we had to make our lunch inside. We had a wonderful time together at Easter time. It was wonderful. Everybody was there but not my little grandson. He is still in Seattle. But we think he will be here by Mother Day. So well, one other thing we won't have on the tape is little marshes voice. She went to bed before we started and she didn't get up. So maybe when she start talking a little bit, when they come up here, we'll make a <clears throat> a little more tape to add to this. Yeah, it is funny how she uh, is making a fackle, fackle. She is calling now and she tries to, to it's, it's her baby talk, you know, and 
but it is so cute. We really love her. We have fun with, with Michelle and uh, with uh, little Marsha. I guess uh, little Mich Mich Michelle, she decided to come um, in her vacation time one week here to us, to the mountains. So we will be very happy to have her. And then maybe we'll spend a week with her. Yeah, <laughs> at home. Uh, as we figured it, I think there's about four minutes left on the end of this tape. So when it suddenly comes to a halt in mid-word, don't worry about it. <laughs> we are still okay. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> even freckles. <laughs> yeah, even freckles. He is outside and playing with Tabby. He got out this morning and went for a little trip by himself. And we could just see him up on the crest of the hill above the cabin going 90 miles an hour. He really had a great time before oh, we got him back. <laughs> oh, it looks like a deer. You should see him, how he is springing. It looks beautiful. We have fun with him. Good thing it isn't deer season. Somebody would probably be taking a shot at him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> um. Well, I have not much to say today. I don't know. That's very unusual for Hildegard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad my family is here and we can be more t together now. When we go to Pau, then we always can see my family too. And this is very, very nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have decided what we do on our vacation. Uh, when we come or um, when it will be in June or July or August. So we will see. We, we will write a letter to you again. We'll hope you have your house sold and you're back in Emmett and we can come visit you over there and uh, pick out a piece of property. Yeah, this would be wonderful. I think we've about had it in, <clears throat> in Wrightwood. Well, it's nice, but not quite enough to do up here. No, we live now five years here, and this is, I think this is enough now. Yeah. All right, we have about ten seconds left, so that's just time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody, and we see you soon. We hope. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the tape.